Hi there, welcome to Basic Grammar Series. I am Mandeep and in today's lesson we are going to learn about adjectives. In this lesson we are going to learn what are adjectives, the attributive position of adjective, predicative position of adjective, kinds of adjectives, adjectives of quality, quantity, number, definitive, indefinitive, distributive, numeral adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives, emphasizing adjectives, proper adjectives, participle adjectives, nouns as adjectives, and in the end we'll learn about degrees of comparison and formation of adjectives. So let's begin. Adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives can be used to describe the qualities of something or someone independently or in comparison to something else. Consider these sentences here. I like old houses. Jessica is smarter than her sister. In the first sentence, old is an adjective here because it is describing the noun house. It is telling you, giving you more information about the noun house, what kind of house it is. In the second sentence, smarter word is used to compare the two nouns, Jessica and her sister. So smarter is an adjective here. Adjective can be described as something that adds to a noun or pronoun. So adds, it adds more information to a noun or pronoun. So adjectives, they tell you, they give you more information about a noun or a pronoun. They modify the nouns. This is my pen. So here, my is an adjective because it's giving you more information about the pen. The pen belongs to whom? Similarly, in the sentence, these walls need whitewashing. So in this sentence, walls, which walls? These walls. So the adjective these is adding some information to walls. Now adjectives in a sentence can either take an attributive position or they can take a predicative position. Now what is attributive and predicative position? So it's very easy if an adjective is placed just before the noun in a sentence, it is taking an attributive position. Because it is attributing, it is describing the noun directly. Take these examples. She has long hair. Here long is, is positioned just before the noun hair. Sarah is a pretty girl. Here, pretty is taking its position just before girl. It is attributing the noun girl. So we can say that the adjective pretty is in an attributive position here. You all have learned about the subject and predicate, right? So whenever the adjective takes a position in, a, in the predicate of a sentence, means it is just placed after the linking verb. The linking verbs like be, become, look, seem, if it's placed after the linking verb, the adjective is taking a predicative position. Take these examples, he seems happy. Here happy is an adjective. Many times the learners, they confuse the, ad, uh, the adjective in a predicative position with the adverb because, because of the position of the adjective. So here happy is an adjective it is describing the state of he and it is taking its position just after the linking verb seems take a few more examples you look handsome here look is a linking verb handsome is an adjective it is describing the state of you now i'm giving you two sentences here using the same adjective you have to tell me which adjective is used in an attributive position and which adjective is used in a predicative position. The proud soldier is whom? The soldier is proud. Now in both these sentences, proud is the adjective. But in the first sentence, the position of proud is coming just before the noun soldier. While in the second sentence, it is coming after the linking verb is in the first sentence the adjective is in an attributive position while in the second sentence the adjective is in a 
predicative position. Let's take another example. The employee is dedicated. The dedicated employee starts early. Now in both these sentences, the adjectives are dedicated. Now in which sentence the adjective is coming just before the noun? In the second sentence, the dedicated employee. So here dedicated is used in attributive position while in the other sentence dedicated is used in the predicative position. Now let's move on to the kinds of adjectives. First type of adjective is adjective of quality. These are the most common adjectives. The name says it all, quality. These adjectives, they tell you about the quality of a noun. They give you more information about the quality of the noun. These adjectives will, will describe about the size, shape, color of the noun or a pronoun. Take for example, the beautiful princess damaged her shoes while dancing. Here, Beautiful is an adjective of quality. The tall boy had to stand last in the queue. Here tall is the adjective of quality because it is telling you about the height of the noun boy. Simi's thin frame became weak due to illness. Thin is an adjective of quality here. He is an honest man. Here honest is an adjective describing the kind of man he is. So honest is an adjective of quality. The next one we have here is adjective of quantity. They show you how much, how much a thing is meant. So for identifying the adjective of quality, you ask the question, what kind after the noun? What kind of a man he is? What size the ball is? But for adjective of quantity, you will ask the question, how much? I ate some rice. How much? Some. Some is the adjective of quantity. He lost all his wealth. How much wealth he lost? All. So all is adjective of quantity. Take great care of your health. How much care? Great care. So great is adjective of quantity here. Moving on to adjectives of number. Adjective of quantity are used with uncountable nouns whereas adjective of number will tell you about the number of countable nouns. They'll give you the number, how many. So you'll ha have to ask the question, how many persons, how many things or in what order or they can also tell you in what order a thing or a person stands. Example, Sunday is the first day of the week. So first here is telling you the order of the day. The hand has five fingers. How many fingers? Five. Five is the adjective of number. Most boys like cricket. How many boys? So see here boys is a countable noun here. So most becomes the adjective of number here. There are no pictures in this book. How many pictures? No pictures. So no is an adjective of number. Adjectives of number are also called numeral adjectives and numeral adjectives can be segregated, can be further segregated into three kinds, definitive numerals, indefinitive numerals and distributive numerals. So the adjectives that give you exact number of noun or pronoun, cardinal numbers or ordinal numbers, cardinal numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, Ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth. So the cardinal numbers, they show you how many things, how many persons, how many people, how many places. Ordinal numbers, they show you the position. The first boy in the row, I have two pens. How many pens? Exact number, two. Two is a definitive numeral adjective. The first boy in the row, first First is a definitive numeral adjective. It is an ordinal number. Now, indefinitive numeral adjectives, they'll not give you exact number of things like all, no, many, few, some, certain, several. Example, there were many people standing in the queue. So, many here is not giving you any definite number. You don't know how many people were standing in the queue. 
So it is an indefinitive numeral adjective. Several farmers protested for their rights. So several is an indefinitive numeral adjective here. Now what are distributive, distributive numeral adjectives? The words like each, either, neither, every that are referring to each one of a number. There is a number of people and these words are referring to each one. Like every boy in the class was punished. It is referring to a number of all. So here every is a distributive numeral adjective. Either pen will do. Here either is distributive numeral adjective. Every word of it is false. Neither accusation is true. Moving on to demonstrative adjectives. Now demonstrate means to point out. When a word points out to a noun, noun or a pronoun, it tells you which noun, which person, which thing, which place. That word is a demonstrative adjective. This, that, these, those. This boy took my wallet. So here this is pointing out to the noun boy. This is a demonstrative adjective. These flowers are so fresh. This is a demonstrative adjective. That girl is very quiet. That is a demonstrative adjective here. So demonstrative adjectives, they'll answer to the question which, which boy, which thing. Moving on to interrogative adjectives. Interrogative means question. Adjectives which are used with the nouns to ask questions, they are called interrogative adjectives. Like what, which and whose. When these words are used with the nouns to ask questions, they are called interrogative adjectives. Take for example, whose book is this? Whose is just taking its position before book. So whose is interrogative adjective here. What answer did you get? What is an interrogative adjective here? Which way shall we go? Which is an interrogative adjective? Which pen do you prefer? Here which is asking about pen. So which is an interrogative adjective and it is taking its position just before the noun pen. It is modifying the noun pen by asking a question which. Which is an interrogative adjective. Now moving on to possessive adjective. When a word is used before a noun or a pronoun to show the ownership or possession that word is called the possessive adjective this is my book my here is giving you more information about the book and it is showing the ownership of the book so my is a possessive adjective here her father is working as a banker here her is a possessive adjective did you take your books from the table here your is a possessive adjective moving on to proper adjectives. Now most adjectives are just common adjectives. They describe they describe people, place, things etc. like tall boys, short girl, black car. Here tall, short, black. These are the common adjectives. Now proper adjectives they also describe people, place, things but, but they are based on names proper names and therefore they need to be capitalized like Spanish teacher. Miss Mary is a Spanish teacher. So Spanish is an adjective but it is it needs to be capitalized because it is derived from a proper noun Spanish. I like reading Shakespearean poetry. Shakespearean here is derived from proper proper noun Shakespeare but it is describing poetry. So Shakespearean here is a proper adjective. Indian food is really spicy. Here food is being described as Indian and Indian here is a proper adjective. Moving on to emphasizing adjectives. Now the name says it emphasizing means to emphasize. In simple words the adjectives that emphasize a noun or a pronoun and, sh and show strong emotion or feelings. Take for example, please mind your own business. Here own is an emphasizing adjective. It was a total success. Here total is an emphasizing adjective. It is emphasizing success. Don't you have your own pencil? Here again own is emphasizing adjective. Oh, this is the very book that I need. Here very is an emphasizing adjective. Now we move on to participial adjectives. 
so the verb forms that end in ing or ed but are being used in a sentence as an adjective so if an adjective is a is a verb form that is ending in ing or ed and it is describing state of condition of something or someone then these are called participial adjectives so now they will appear like verbs they are similar to verbs as they have ing forms they are the ing forms or ed forms of verbs but they are describing a noun in a sentence they are used as, as an adjective in a sentence so they are called participial adjectives take for example the burning candle spread a warm light here what kind of candle burning burning is a is an ing form of a verb so burn, but it is being used as an adjective in this sentence so burning is a participial adjective some people have claimed that they saw a flying saucer flying here is a participial adjective don't you try to catch a running train running is a participial adjective here now the next is nouns as adjective now noun noun is a naming word name of a person place animal thing idea right and but an adjective is a descriptive word describing word that describes a noun so when a noun is used to describe another noun then we can say that it is a noun used as an adjective take for example our new history teacher is an erudite so history here is a noun teacher is also a noun but history is describing the another noun teacher so history here is noun used as an adjective i read a great war story war here is a noun describing another noun story so war is a noun used as an adjective you need to wear tennis shoes for playing tennis tennis is a noun shoes is a noun but tennis is describing shoes so tennis is a noun used as an adjective now we move on to the degrees of adjective as we already learned in the definition that adjectives can be used to describe a noun or they can be used to compare the, the nouns based on that we have three degrees of adjective one is positive degree another is comparative degree and then the superlative degree now positive degree is just a simple adjective that is not comparing comparing a noun to another noun let's say um, rohan is a tall boy here tall is simple positive degree of adjective rohan is not being compared to any other boy so tall is a positive degree of adjective now if i compare rohan to another boy in the class rohan is taller than harry here taller is a comparative degree the comparative degree will always compare two nouns or pronouns so when the comparison is between two things two things or two persons then a comparative degree is used the comparative degree is generally formed by adding er or more to the positive adjective like sushmita is more beautiful then ashwarya here more beautiful is an adjective used in the comparative degree my room is cozier than yours here cozier is a comparative adjective formed by adding suffix er to a positive adjective cozy so one important point to note here is that comparative adjectives are usually followed by than t h a n than she is better swimmer than him he is taller than you so we are using than here after the comparative adjective taller can you speak louder than this here again than is used after the comparative adjective louder so comparative adjectives are usually followed by than now moving on to superlative adjective superlative means super means that is the highest degree of comparison when the comparison is between more than two people persons or things then we use superlative degree so a superlative adjective is always preceded with the she is the best dancer in the class the best here best is the superlative degree of 
good good is the positive degree better is the comparative degree best is the superlative degree of adjective he is the tallest boy in the class the tallest tallest is a superlative adjective and we are using the before tallest so note here that the comparison is between more than two persons or things now the superlative degree can either be formed by adding suffix est to the positive adjective like tall tallest short shortest or it can be formed by adding most beautiful most beautiful expensive most expensive now here important point to note is that you cannot use more or most with the adjective that is already in the comparative or superlative degree like you cannot say he is more cleverer than you it is wrong so you will say he is cleverer than you or you cannot say can you try to jump more higher so here it will be incorrect usage you have to say can you jump higher now here you'll ask that why than is not used here here comparison is implied can you jump higher than this so that is why we are not using than here now when we compare two things and one is related to other we use the before both the things it will be clear with these examples the slower you eat the better will be your digestion here the process of eating and digestion is directly related so the adjectives slower and better are also related so both these adjectives are preceded with the the slower you eat the better will be your digestion the harder you work the better will you do here both the things that are being compared are directly related to each other the harder you work the better will you do now there are some words that have double forms of comparative and superlative degrees most of the words have single forms of comparative and superlative degrees like good better best tall taller tallest short shorter shortest high higher highest highest beautiful more beautiful most beautiful intelligent more intelligent most intelligent but then there are some adjectives which have double comparative or superlative forms take for example late later latest or late latter last here the first one later latest is for the is in the reference to time and the second one is in the reference to position the latter part of the sentence i want to make corrections in the the last part of the sentence the designer brought two proposal the client approved the latter proposal the latter word so here it is regarding the position the first word the latter word then there are old older oldest old elder eldest similarly far father farthest far further furthest now old older oldest now this can be used to refer to both the people or the object this building is older than the next one my grandfather is the oldest member of the club when we want to compare the age of the members of the same family then we use elder and eldest sheldon is the eldest of all brothers philip is her elder brother another important thing is elder is used only for comparison of age between the members of the family of the same family whereas older can be used for the comparison of age of things as well as people now far father farthest far further furthest both are used to express the distance farther means greater distance whereas further can be used in a sense additional could you provide me further information on this so here additional information kolkata is farther from mumbai than delhi without any further delay the guide helped us reach our hotel now moving on to the formation of adjectives now adjectives can be formed from the nouns by adding the suffix ish full less n by adding y like boy boyish care careful care careless sense senseless play playful dirt 
dirty by adding suffix y. The adjectives can also be formed from verbs by adding suffix less able with the verbs. Example, seize, ceaseless, tire, tireless, commend, commendable, move, movable. Some adjectives are formed from other adjectives. Example, tragic, tragical, black, blackish, red, reddish, sick, sickly, whole, wholesome. Now there is no rule for this. It is just learned with practice and with usage. So that was all about adjectives. If you have liked this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you next week with another lesson. Till then, happy learning.